<sighs> you know, if this video turns out better than my match tea latte, then maybe my crippling depression won't win today. <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Joel and welcome to my booktube channel. It feels really weird to be like introducing myself to all of you like this because obviously a lot of you already know me from Twitter, but I just, the support has been overwhelming for me to start a booktube channel and I know a lot of you have been waiting for this to happen for a while now, like Karis, Fadwa, Rhea, Asia, Tia, the list goes on. I just want to say thank you for all of the support so far and I just hope that together we can build a nice little community here and hopefully we can, you know, thrive. Before I get into the content of today's video, I just want to give a bit of background to myself. I originally started a bookstagram account years and years ago. I think it was 2016 or 2015 I started my bookstagram account um, called Fictional Fates. Uh, I then ran that alongside a book blog for four-ish years until 2018. Uh, well, three years actually, till 2018, until I started university because university, like most education, really destroyed my love for reading and it was really hard to get back into reading. But because of quarantine and um, all the recent events, reading has really become a passion for me again. And because of everything that's been going on, I feel like I now I'm more empowered to use my voice in spreading diverse reading and um, representation and showing that Black Lives Matter. Uh, it's time for a community to come together and to like truly celebrate how diverse we all can be. So for today's video, I was pondering like what I should be doing because I was like, it's a first video, I really want to make an impact, you know, want to do something unique. And then I just settled for the booktube newbie tag. After DMing a few people, I I just felt like it was a, like a rite of passage, you know, like everyone does this, everyone um, goes through it, everyone answers these questions, and it's kind of nice to look at and to see like in a year's time, like all the things I say in this video, did I do that? Or is it, or is there something that I've accomplished? Or um, have I grown? Like it'll just be really cool to see. And I kind of also owe you all a video because we're currently at a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. Like, thank you so much. And I need to start posting because, yikes, I, yeah, it'd just be great. Right, I'm gonna grab the Inquisition and we'll get started. Oh yeah, um, the Inquisition is my iPad. It's named after the Inquisition after Dragon Age because it's one of my favorite video games. And oh, I, that's a whole other video that I can talk about, Dragon Age. Question one, why did you start this channel? Because everyone convinced me. Um, no, I, I always wanted to start a booktube channel actually, like way back in 2016 when I had my bookstagram and everything, I even had the channel like set up, ready to go. I just, I don't know, it was kind of the fear, I guess. Like I, I have a lot of anxiety and I feel like it kind of was overwhelming. Like I feel like it just wasn't the right time for me. Like everything in happens for a reason, I believe. And I just feel like, it just wasn't the time for me to start a booktube channel then, but it's time for me to start it now. I started this channel because I just wanna share my love of reading with everyone. I want to be able to showcase some fantastically amazing books and authors and stories that just will allow people to see themselves, will allow people to feel represented, will allow people to feel emboldened and welcome. And I wanna build a community that supports each other, that celebrates each other for their differences. And it, I just truly want a safe space for everyone. Like we need a safe space too. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Well, I'm a bisexual black British boy. Um, so I think there's definitely like, there's definitely not enough of us like on booktube. So I'm starting that space. Uh, we're gonna need to start a camera for how many times I do peace signs because I'm a raging bisexual and <laughs> peace signs are my thing. I'll be able to bring just, I don't know. I have a lot of confidence in when I like am passionate about a book, I can confidently speak about it. And I get really um, hype about books. And I think that's just something I'll be able to do really easily. I also think that I'm really friendly. Um, so I just want to be so welcoming and warm to everyone. So I think definitely like that will be really good. Um, also, I just want to be able to like create 
So I think that I can definitely bring a fresh, unique perspective to booktube and definitely contribute something, I hope, because otherwise I, I'll feel unaccom uh, unaccomplished. Um, because I like achieving, like, I, I thrive off achieving things. My goal is to make an impact. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. Question three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? Honestly, I'm most excited about interacting with everyone, like other booktubers, um, authors, uh, publishers. Like I think that together we can all kind of thrive and build a diverse publishing community which celebrates um, diversity and celebrates so many things in this world. And I just think it's going to be an amazing opportunity for me to kind of flourish and grow and work within the publishing industry, especially within the UK, uh, work within the publishing industry to change it from the inside out into something more diverse and more wonderful. I am just really excited to see where this goes. And I think one thing I'm also excited for is just to see how much I grow over the next few years. And especially with my um, book that I'm writing as well, hopefully I'll get published. So it's kind of a reflection on everything that's happening at this moment in time. Question four, why do you love reading? Reading was probably my escape from reality, like a comfortable and safe space from um, a harsher world that didn't like a queer British boy, a uh, queer black boy. It enabled me to escape to worlds that, um, although primarily white when I was younger, it just allowed me to escape to a fantasy world. And it was a something that I enjoyed and I loved. And it also allowed me to make some amazing friends and like I'll always be thankful for reading to for introducing me to some amazing people and reading is just iconic like we stand it we love it we see it it's just something that enables us to become better people because of what we read and obviously reading widely is massively important and so by reading widely we can accept more widely Reading opens so many doors, and I think that by opening those doors, have a more better, we can have a better world. Like, come on, everyone, pick up a book. What book or series got you into reading? Um, it was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by um, by um, no, in fact. Oh, no, I haven't. It's Hatsune Miku. Um, that's the book series that got me into reading. Like, I'll always be thankful to that book series for getting me into reading. But now JK Rowling is a chiff and we don't stand that in this household. So it's just a quick note from editing me to say that this um, booktube is going to be a safe space for everyone. And I do mean everyone. So if you disagree and you're prejudiced, then get off my booktube channel. Otherwise, I will cut you. But obviously other series such as Divergent and The Hunger Games, they also flourished my love for reading, like that 2013 um, dystopia kind of like blow up that happened. Um, and that's why I have all of these books that you see before you. Question six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Well, to all the people that are on booktube um, at the moment, uh, I do want to ask you all, like, how do you cope with the anxiety that comes with running a booktube channel? Like, how do you cope with the fear, like maybe hate comments, or um, maybe you think this video won't do well, or you think that, oh, my video's too out there, or, oh, I'm black on booktube and we're not as successful as the white um, and other minority ethnic booktubers. Yeah, how do you cope with that anxiety? Specifically though, I want to ask Cindy from Read With Cindy. Hi Cindy, how are you doing? I want to ask, how do you come up with such cool video ideas? Your channel has honestly been one of my favourites on booktube to watch. Your ideas, like the one where you send, um, you rec like you recommend books based on the messages you sent to your landlord. That was such a funny video. Like, I love that so much. Like, I want your brain. I, I want your creative brain. Uh, this next question goes out to Fadwa from Word Wonders. Hi Fadwa, I love you. I support you, queen. Like, you're just iconically amazing. And 
No one actually does it like you can. You need to be appreciated more. We need to stand you more, stand you harder than ever before, actually. But yeah, what I want to ask you is how do you cope with running a blog and a booktube at the same time and a bookstagram, actually? Because I feel like we're both quite similar in kind of our social media presences. Like we, I'm going to be running a blog as well. It will be quite useful to get advice from you as to how you've managed to perfectly um, coordinate yourself throughout all different mediums of social media and yeah any tips and tricks would be greatly appreciated. I kind of just want to say thank you as well to Catitastic um, because she was the first ever booktuber that I'd ever watched. She really ignited my love for booktube as well and hopefully one day we'll get to meet and hopefully one day we'll get to um, fully talk about our books and our writing. I also want to say hi to Cam because Cam is an iconic being, like I love them, I support them and they're also starting their booktube channel up again soon so if you did want to uh, find someone else to subscribe to as well I'll have a Cam's link in the description as well because Cam is iconic and if you like me you'll definitely definitely like Cam so what's not to like? And then to Elias uh, hello. Um, your thumbnails are popping. Uh, how do you create them? What do you use? Tell me everything. To um, all the black people YouTubers out there, hi. Um, I love you. I support you. And let's be friends. I just, yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here and for building, it's like starting to build a platform for yourself and spreading the love of reading. There needs to be more of us on here. Like, let's just overtake booktube. Come on, let's go. Question seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I think one of the main challenges that comes with booktube is having staying power and innovative ideas because everyone does the same idea like wrap ups and um, kind of like TBRs and stuff like readathons. Like they're quite cool as well. Like people do enjoy watching those, but it's also trying to have original content. Like what I mentioned earlier with Cindy, like her content is really original. I think that's like what contributed to some of her success. I just want to have innovative ideas so that people will want to come watch my channel and that it's unique. Um, I'm an Aquarius, so I thrive off uniqueness. <laughs> but yeah, I think that I just, I just want to be able to survive <laughs> on here. I think that's the initial challenge to overcome. I also think being consistent and remaining productive with this channel is a channel is a challenge um, I'm going to have to overcome as well because keeping with it and making sure that I get that weekly upload is gonna be something that I'm gonna be consistent in from now on. I can't really think of many other challenges but obviously you know, they'll come and go. I think with starting a booktube channel, starting any project really, like you have challenges as you go through things like every step of the way. So the challenges that I think of now, they may be even more later on, like editing, that's gonna be a challenge. Um, maybe like a collaboration, that's another challenge. Like as long as we face these challenges head on and learn from them and solve them and thrive off the success of accomplishing those challenges then yeah i'm gonna have a really fun time on booktube like it's gonna be great together i keep on having this togetherness thing but like i just really like a community feel but like together we can accomplish anything question eight when did you start reading i started reading at a very young age um i don't really know what age exactly that i started reading but it was definitely when i started reading the forbidden series as in Harry Potter. That was probably like, like I mentioned in the first book series that I got into that really accomplished my love for reading. I just, I just don't know, I've always had a passion for reading and that's why I like enjoyed that a lot. Plus I annoyed my mum with all the books I used to buy. Um, the constant Amazon and uh, book depository deliveries were always fun and then I'd come home with a bunch of books. I have two bookshelves one here and one outside my room because it doesn't fit in my room anymore. Although I think my mum is quite proud of everything that I'm accomplishing on here. So yeah, you know, have parents that support you. A parent that supports you. <laughs> Question nine, where do you read? A lot of the time I read in bed. Um, I just like the feel of having a blanket snuggled up really warm with a book in your hand, dust jacket off, and you're just reading and with maybe like a soundtrack in the background. 
um, it just feels really peaceful and calm. Maybe I'll have a candle set or two, like, you know, have that cozy atmosphere. If I'm outside, maybe I'll crack open a book there. Um, crack open a cold one with the boys. Um, sorry. Sometimes I will, if I'm listening to an audiobook, because audiobooks are also reading, if you don't think so, get off this channel. If I'm listening to an audiobook, I'll slip my earpods in. Usually that will be if I'm at the gym or running, or if I'm just doing something around the house and I need something to like listen to if I don't wanna to listen to music. If I am in the living room and I'm like, I want something to do, usually I'll also read there. Question 10, and it's the final question now, which is scary because that means we're at the end of the tag, but um, it's what kind of books do you like to read? And well, I'm, I'll just show you. I just threw the Inquisition. Oh, fantasy. Well, urban fantasy, but an iconic book. Fantasy, 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 fantasy. A lot of these are fantasy, as you can see but I do also read the odd contemporary. Um, I got it in. Yeah, I do also read the odd contemporary like Simon Versus and a lot of others. I'll have a versatility towards reading. Like I'll read any genre, um, any age group, like mostly read young adult and adult, but I'll, I'll delve into middle grade sometimes. Like there are some really good middle grade books, like the Magisterium series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Like that was really good writing. I will read. Like I just love stories. And as long as I can like escape into different worlds, I'm fine with that. Like I am fine with anything because at the end of the day, stories matter they're told for a reason we read books to live those lives and learn how we can become better people through those books so yeah that is um the booktube newbie tag um thank you a lot so much i i can't put it into words how grateful i am for all of your support and how grateful i am for everyone commenting liking subscribing um supporting me throughout all of this and it really means a lot to me and it means a lot that you think I'm worth watching even though I haven't put up a video yet even though I haven't done anything yet but hopefully I can like crack up some cool video ideas and this booktube channel will thrive my skin will glow and we'll all get 10 years younger so yeah if you liked this video uh why don't you hit the like button? I really don't know where it is. I think it's this this way. Yeah, if you can hit the like button like down there. Um, comment. Uh, we can have a discussion in the comments about our favorite books. That would be quite cool. Uh, and yeah, if you are new here, uh, which you all are, but if you're new and haven't subscribed, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button as well so that you can stay notified on whenever I release a new video in the future, which should be every Friday from now on because I think Fridays are a good day to upload. I'll have all of my other social media links in the description, including um, my bookstagram, my Twitter, uh, my coffee page where you can donate to support me, which will be used to buy books and things that will be used for my bookstagram and my blog and this booktube channel and I also have an Amazon wish list which you can use to gift and support me books as well. So yeah I guess until the next video on fictional fates I I guess this is goodbye. Well not goodbye. So I guess until next Friday. Bye everybody.